At General Hospital, Christina dreams about holding her baby girl. She wakes up from the dream, feels her belly, and begins to cry. Alexis comes in, and Christina tells her mom about her dream. She sobs that the only way she'll ever get to see or hold her baby is in her dreams. John Cena says being naked at Oscars was really embarrassing. Felicia stops by and tells Christina and Alexis how sorry she is for them and their family. As a patient advocate, she wants to offer therapy, grief counseling, group sessions, or anything else Christina might need. Felicia knows from experience that there is no timeline for handling grief, but leaning on family helps. Felicia leaves, and Alexis asks Christina what she can do for her. Christina doesn't know how to feel now that her baby is gone. She realizes that's the first time she said, my baby, but she was her mother. Christina cries that she was the only one who truly knew her. She knew what every kick meant, and when she did or didn't like something she ate, she sobs that she was real and she was my baby. Christina breaks down. In the hall, Portia is glad Trina came to see her and says they'll visit this conversation later. Trina goes to walk away when suddenly an officer wheels Heather out of the elevator. Heather sees Trina and calls her name, but Portia runs over and warns Heather to stay away from her daughter. Heather only wanted to apologize. Portia says she is only here for a follow-up, and she will do whatever it takes to keep her off the streets. She asks the officer to take Heather to her room. When Heather is wheeled off, Trina asks her mother, What the hell was that? Portia says her only concern is protecting her. Trina tells her mom that Heather is handcuffed and escorted by a guard, so she can't do anything. Trina says her mom can't afford to lose it on a patient as co-chief of staff, even if it's Heather. Portia says she is glad that Laura backed off, but she won't let some lawyer swoop in and make a name for themselves by putting Heather back on the street. Trina begs her mom to let this go. Portia says if she wants to help then stay away from Heather. Scott informs the guard outside of Heather's room that he is her attorney and bullies his way in. Heather tells Scott it's always good to see him, but they both know he's not her attorney. He chirps, not yet. He admits he did some research that this cobalt poisoning is real and that she got a bum sentence. He knows she did wild things back in her day, but she was never serial killer crazy. He says she didn't accidentally give herself cobalt poisoning like she did LSD, and she wasn't in her right mind when she killed those people. He wants to help her, and she asks why. He says they are family as they share Franco. Heather can't believe he played the dead son card and wants to know what is in this for him. Scott states the company that made her implant has deep pockets, so they should sue them. Heather asks what good money will do in prison. He says that's why they demand a new trial. He says if she's acquitted, then she'll be free and have a big fat bank account. He notes she still has life left in her. So doesn't she want to spend it with her grandson? He paints her as the victim of this corporation, and he can see in her eyes that she's interested. He asks her to let him get her out, and then they'll go after a big piece of corporate pie. She agrees to think about it. In Donna's room, she says her throat hurts and wants a popsicle. She asks her parents if she's in trouble for taking daddy's vitamins. They tell her she's not. But she's not to take anyone else's medication or anything medicine unless they give it to her. Donna asks if she can go home. Carly says they'll be going home soon. But explains that Christina is here, so her dad is going to stay. Donna thinks they should get Christina a popsicle or two, one for her and one for the baby. Carly gives Sunny a look. Later, Donna, Carly, and Sunny are up and headed toward the elevator when Jason steps out. Jason offers them a ride home, but Carly asks Jason to stay with Sunny as she can take Donna home. Sunny tells Jason that he and Carly knew what was wrong with him the whole time, and he wishes he had listened. Jason says his instincts kicked in, and he's much better now. He can see it in his eyes. Sonny says he is, but he wants to know who switched his meds. Jason shares the photos of Ava with Sonny, which appear to show her pushing Christina out the window. Sonny assumes Ava is the one who switched his meds, 
So Jason asks what he wants him to do. Sunny tells him to visit Ava and see if she has anything to say. Jason understands and departs.